Greetings and welcome to RuralVacantLand.com, where we have easy, cheap land priced 50 to 80% below the competition. Today I'd like to show you a 20 acre parcel uh, near Baker that I'm asking $4,400 for. So if we put the GPS coordinates into Google Earth, you can see the desert. This is a uh, classic desert. And if we pan out a little bit, you can see there's a little road to the north. It looks like there's another trail to the east as well, but there's a road with an actual name to the north that links up to the uh, 127. And the, if you go, if we go out a little further, you can go south on the 127 to Baker. Baker is, is down here. Um, if you've driven the 15 between Los Angeles or Riverside and Las Vegas, uh, you've probably stopped in Baker for gas or food or, you know, it's a, it's a classic stop along the way. So it's just north off the 127 to this property. And there's some colorful mountains to the um, west that look like they would help stop the, the main winds and be nice to look at while you're in this valley. These mountains, I don't know the name of them, but they're, let um, me probably say, if I clicked on them, I mean, you can see see the valley, you can see the 127 going by, you can see the alluvial plain that the property is on, and just, there's mountains in all directions, so you'd be in the valley, I believe you'd be protected from the winds, the major winds, and be looking at these mountains all over the place. So we go back, let's fly back to the property. There's some pictures in the area. I'll see if I can pull up a couple of these pictures, give you some flavor of the area. Let's get out of this thing. Bear with me here. We'll see what people have taken pictures of. So here's some bush. Here's the, the alluvial plain and the mountains in the background. Um, this gives you an idea of, of what the area looks like. I'm not sure who took these pictures. Oh, nice flat road. You can probably see how fast your car goes on this one. Yeah, take a look at that area. There's no one out there. People take pictures because there's no one there. That's, that's a beautiful thing. Uh, when you can be in an area where there's no one around looking at you, no car noise, no trains, no, no noise, no people, freedom. Some of the last of the American frontier. So let's go to the internet, see if I can show you some more about this property. First, I'd like to take you to landwatch.com, one of my favorite websites to slice and dice land. I put Baker, California in. This is in San Bernardino County. I mean, we could search the whole county and you'd get you'd see that this is pretty much the cheapest or is the cheapest property out there besides other things that I have listed um, but for Baker this area um, I didn't even sort by size most of the properties in this area are bigger properties um, so the cheapest one is a 40 acre for sixty thousand dollars I've got a 20 acre that I'm offering for forty four hundred dollars uh, the, there's a 20 for ninety eight thousand dollars um, you know, I'm asking $4,400. I don't think there's a comparable there. It's, uh, this $4,400, 20 acres. I mean, I don't know what these other guys are thinking with their prices. Uh, I just scratch my head, but I think this is price to sell and price to happen. And you could probably turn around and sell it for multiples of, of this and still Still pull it off, probably take more time, but you could flip the thing and sell it for a lot more if you wanted. So let's move on. Let's look at the lot lines. I put the GPS coordinates into Google Maps, and they're also in the description of this video below and, and on my website, ruralvacantland.com. And if you go there, if you if you click on these, you get a get this kind of looking screen. You can click on the corners. You click on the corner and it shows the GPS coordinates of, of where you clicked. You can do that all four corners and map out where the property is and uh, go take a tour of it and see where it is and if you like it. Feel free to go take a tour. You don't need me to hold your hand. I mean, just go there and check it out anytime you want. My favorite part of this part of the, the area is that it's close to Nevada. You can drive up the 127 to this little town 
which has a Walmart Super Stunner. And you can buy gas, and you can buy groceries, and you can buy supplies, and you can do it without paying California taxes. And then you can drive back to California, and you can live in California. You could set this property up and have at it, and being subsidized off of Nevada prices. Not very far from Las Vegas. Las Vegas has all kinds of supplies, 113 miles away. That Walmart is 69 miles away, and you saw that road. I mean, just take a guess how fast you could drive on that kind of road. I mean, it's 69 miles won't take you that, that long. Um, so here's, here's the Las Vegas, 113 miles. It says 100, or an hour and 46 minutes at, you know, speed limits. Um, and then if you go to Los Angeles, like downtown Los Angeles, because this is pretty much in between Las Vegas and Los Angeles, but downtown Los Angeles would be 196 miles. Here's a, kind of a map with some of the little roads in the area. That little road is uh, pretty close to the property line. Actually, let's take a look. I think it's just, let's find that little road. Just north here of the property line. And I pulled this up on wilderness.net. Now if you can see this kind of small bakers here, here's a 15, here's the uh, 127. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So you're in between the Mojave Preserve, which is a monster of a, a park, national park, forestry service mixed with national park. I think the purple is national and the green is forestry service. There's like different regulations in each part. And then the yellow is Bureau of Land Management. So just to the south of this property is Bureau of Land Management. And there you can shoot your guns. And then in the national forest stuff, I think you can drop, you can off-road. At least there's a lot of roads that you can take. And the Bureau of Land Management, you can't off-road. And all of them you can hike and explore and camp. And the land just goes on and on. You go to the north and you get into the Death Valley National Preserve. And there's, I mean, it's it's uh, it's huge. It's a huge piece of land. People think about just dry, barren valley, but it goes up the mountains in all directions. And there's, there's lots of game that you can hunt and explore and camp and spend time. People come from all over the world. They like to stop in there. It's part of their part of their tour of uh, Las Vegas they go through like to see Death Valley and uh, so you can live on 20 acres with all these parks around you to spend time in and explore without paying taxes on on owning that kind of land so this this bureau land management that's closest to the property the closest park is called Hollow Hills and I looked that one up and they've got more in-depth um, details and things but you can ride horses all over it I mean you can use it like it's your own except for you can't use uh, motorized vehicles in off the road so I think there's some little trails you can take but the rest of the place you've got to walk or hike or ride your horse so it's great for horseback riding then the Mojave to the south there's pictures of the Mojave Preserve mountains and cactuses and Joshua trees and you know, mom's taking pictures with their kids. I mean, it's a great place to explore. You've got some trees in some of these valleys, sand dunes. It's, the nature goes up and down. There's huge topography and lots of stuff to look at. The government's put in these watering stations for, for wildlife. You know, you add water to the desert, the wildlife takes off. So if you like hunting or bird watching or watching the nature, you go map out these uh, watering holes, and it's kind of like hunting in Africa. The animals come to you. Um, so Death Valley to the north is the same idea. Uh, the huge topography changes from the bottoms of the valleys to the tops. Most people just look at the bottom of the valley because that's where the road goes. But I mean, it stretches on and on. There's a mass piece of wilderness here to go explore. Different times of the year, you got flowers, rainbows, and sun. And it's a great place to go exploring. So I pulled up the taxes on this property. You know, how much you have to pay in taxes. The taxes are a little late on this one. The people who just bought it from uh, didn't pay their taxes. So there's like $60 due for 2015. Um, it's kind of like 
every you know twice a year so that's what uh, that's what the taxes have been if you're interested in this property uh, please go to my website ruralvacantland.com and uh, you can check out with it there you can use credit card debit card and just buy it I'll pay all the fees and closing costs and do all the paperwork and make it happen for you and uh, you pay forty four hundred dollars and you own a piece of America um, if you're looking for others like this or this isn't the exact one you wanted or you want to buy a couple of them I just recommend you subscribe go to ruralvacantland.com the subscribe tab at the top you put your email address and name in there and I'll send you updates to have more properties like this to offer thank you for listening thanks for watching hope to talk to you soon